to heaven. Man slid down the neck to earth and the world began. So says the legend. Looking at these huge creatures, it's easy to see how that African story came about. Giraffes are quite simply the most amazing animals you're ever likely to meet. Generally, they like to keep themselves to themselves. They're well-mannered, unassuming, and really rather refined. But such modesty means the plight of these gentle giants has largely gone unnoticed. This is the story of the Rothschild giraffe. And like so many African animals, their homes are systematically being carved up for farming, even them with no to live. For years, these quiet creatures have been suffering in silence. That's why I'm here, to help in any way I can, to give them a voice. This is absolutely thrilling. This is what I came all the way to Africa to see, the fantastic Rothschild giraffe. Today, there are fewer than 300 Rothschild giraffes left in the wild. So to secure their future, the plan is to move seven of these wild giraffes to a safe haven where they can live in peace and begin a new breeding herd. There are three kinds, I believe, which are Maasai, Reticulated and Rothschild. These are the tallest mammals in the world. Miles taller than an elephant. And suddenly when you see them here, just quietly browsing. I wonder if you can be able to see, just walking in the background, very slightly darker colouring, is the male. Although he's further off, he's absolutely huge. I can't imagine how you're going to catch one, let alone move it in a truck. I can't think how I'm going to do this. It seemed quite easy on paper. It seemed as if you just put them together like taking cattle to a market. But how do you catch a thing like that? 